Now I do object to the ad because it's tasteless and it does say to many constituencies that you don't care just a whole lot for those little boys. It really makes it easy to unload all those little maniacs. It sure does. And what do you think should happen with that commercial? I don't know. But uh, I know that if I were in one of those minorities, I probably would feel fairly strong. So as an African-American, or if you were African-American, would you have been offended by this commercial? I think so. It really makes it easy to unload all those little maniacs. It sure does. She's referring to uh, uh, the black kid as a, a little maniac. Is that appropriate? No, that's not. So, if you had a choice right now, would you want to continue to see that commercial on TV or not? No. Why? Because it sounds uh, racism. Okay. It sounds like racism. Now, we got a lot of that's going on now. We're not just going to be targeting GM. We're, GM just happened to be the catalyst for the clarion call, but there's many others out there in the past year that have been deliberately putting uh, out these types of uh, discriminatory advertisement. How do you feel about that? Well, I think uh, if, it's, if it's not taken out for uh, the uh, black people should uh, bark out GM. You know, stop, stop buying their cars. There's plenty more out there. It really makes it easy to unload all those little maniacs. It sure does. My name is Eric Williams. We've never met before, right? No, sir. Uh, you've seen the commercial, racist. correct? Yes, sir. So, how did it's you racist. feel about the commercial? Why the, the white kids? Why how come they're being pointed at? You know what I'm saying? It's only the black and Mexican kid. Which they, and they had to put a black and Mexican kid in there. So, yeah. if it was a mixed family, would it be still discrimination? Yeah, still, because they only pointed at the Mexican kid. <laughs> and like, you saw the little white kids at the end? Yeah, yeah. like, like, that's not cool. Do you think that GM should take that commercial off TV? Yeah. Yes. Or leave it. Nah, take it take off. It take it off. Point blank. It really makes it easy to unload all those little maniacs. It sure does. This is the first time we've met. Right. You've watched the commercial. Right. What do you think? Uh, I think it's tough. The message that it sends to uh, to people of color. I just think it's extremely extremely insensitive. And no, I wouldn't buy a GM product. <laughs> oh, you, you you wouldn't even support GM no. anymore. <laughs> no. What would you tell GM today? It's a it's a subliminal messaging that's being sent that puts certain things in their mind. A negative message or give a negative connotation to people of color, it's still offensive. It really makes it easy to unload all those little maniacs. It sure does. And I would I would just ask that they would definitely uh, remove the commercial from television or don't even run the commercial. Oh, really? Honestly, yes. It really makes it easy to unload all those little maniacs. It sure does. From what I could tell, see, and hear, yeah, it's racist. Oh, yeah, it's pretty me. It offended you? Oh, yeah. Most, most definitely offended me. So why, why do you think it's racist? Because of what they said about the little black kids. It really makes it easy to unload all those little maniacs. It sure does. So, you know, we, we already stereotype as violent people. Right. That's a maniac. Right. Exactly. So now they're putting it in commercials. Yeah. How you feel about it? And, well, I don't feel good about it, first and foremost. You know, uh, secondly, one reason because it's our little black kids. I mean, how can they perceive how those kids going to grow up just because they play and having a good time? What would you tell General Motors? Because they're going to see this video. What would you tell General Motors? They need to do better than what they're doing. And they need to take a harder and a second look at the way they're doing things. If they don't think something's wrong with the commercial, flip the script. Right. This is the first time you and I met? Right. And this is the first time you've seen the commercial? Right. After seeing the commercial, how I did felt, you feel? I uh, felt more or less hurt. And let the white kids be called maniacs by the blacks and see what happens. Caucasian brothers and sisters say they see no problem with the commercial. Oh, I guess they don't see no nothing wrong with being called a jungle bunny neither. Uh, white folks aren't the only people that buy GM cars. And we 30% of their auto sales. All right then. A third. Okay. African Americans. Okay, so what does that tell you? Should they remove it or keep it? They remove it. Why? Hey, because it's, in, it's offensive to one third of their base. And if, if they're willing to lose a third of their buying base, hey, go get it, you know, do it, you know. There's Toyota, there's uh, Hyundai, 
Chrysler, Ford, you know, anybody but GM. So you wouldn't buy the product? No. Would you Would you allow your kids to be called maniacs? It really makes it easy to unload all those little maniacs. It sure does. And because he black, you want to call him a maniac? Don't no. I don't know. I mean, I, I, wa I don't watch wait. TV like that either. But, but I've seen the commercial. You've seen the commercial. And when, when you first, when you see the commercial on TV, you don't see a little black boy getting out the car. Uh -huh. But they move it so fast that you can't see. So that's racial profile. That's oh, racial oh, profile. That's the first yeah. time I've heard that one. So you see, you think they're racially profiling on television? Yeah. Yeah, they, but they've been they doing try, this for years, though. And they try to do it on the sleek. Yeah, they That's do it on the sleek. You got to really pay attention. They've been racially profiling black people. But it's just people. that people not speaking out about it. Like, yeah. I guess they, they don't just say don't. nothing. They yeah. keep quiet about it. Yeah. So, so GM will see this. If you if you want to tell the CEO this is somebody, you have it's an like opportunity to say something to them. Now, what would you tell them to do about that commercial? I don't think that's right. Okay. If you gotta do a commercial, it can be a mixture, but yeah, don't have so many of a multiple the color. Yeah. Because uh -huh. if we, because if we was to do a commercial like that with all black people and one little white boy and they speed pass it, and be like, how you get the little demons? Problem. It'll be a big problem. Got yeah. it. Got it. So it'll be, the, the, it'll be a whole bigger problem than what what they feel like it's not, which right. it is. So right. did you see this ad as a discriminatory ad? Yes. Yeah. You sure? It's been. Yeah, I mean, but that, so. like I said, they've been doing this to black people for Yes, but it's up to the, us. To, it's up to us. Oh, come out and say something, because if you don't say anything, they're gonna continue to do They'll it. They'll continue so to do it. Open our mouth and speak. Say it, then stuff will stop. But see, that's Hopefully the problem. People stop, don't, people scared, try. people too scared to stand up and speak for themselves. But me, I ain't scared. I don't care <laughs> how you feel. It really makes it easy to unload all those little maniacs. Sure does. It really makes it easy to unload all those little maniacs. Sure does. It really makes it easy to unload all those little maniacs. Sure does. It really makes it easy to unload all those little maniacs. Sure does. It really makes it easy to unload all those little maniacs. Sure does. It really makes it easy to unload all those little maniacs. Sure does.